Today for GPU June, we're going to look at a few different Voodoo 4s. Uh, definitely, I feel an underrated card, but also very expensive and hard to find. I was quite lucky to pick up a couple of these in box uh, quite a few years ago for very cheap compared to what they are now. Uh, and I was also able to pick up this power color one. So let's look at them more closely. So let's first look at the Voodoo 4 AGP. This is the official 3DFX retail box. Uh, as you can see, this one is uh, green and it's the AGP version. So yeah, definitely really like the, uh, the boxes on these cards. Uh, they are very special. So we open it up and we've got the install CD, we've got an ad for the Voodoo TV, which I don't own, I wouldn't mind getting one, but I don't think that they do anything particularly special. What's this, a register, oh, so you can get uh, a MP, MPEG2 decoder software, okay, well there you go. And then we've got the quick install guide, which is actually quite a nice looking little manual. And then some, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. And then we have the Voodoo 4. So it opens up in this box. It's basically, I think the Voodoo 5 box is the same size. Unfortunately, I don't have one of them. Um, but you can see here that it is in... And here it is. So you can see this, we were looking on um, one of the Facebook groups talking about uh, five and a half or five nanosecond memory. And I've checked all mine and they're all six nanosecond. So they just run at the 166 megahertz and so this card is definitely used but uh, I haven't used it recently um, and it's running the 1.15 BIOS version so yeah that's the first card uh, that's probably the most common I would say of the Voodoo 4s so let's put that back and then jump on to the next one Okay, so now we have the PCI version. Uh, this actually, I think, is my favourite box of the two. I really like the red look. And the PCI one holds a special place uh, for me because it uh, can be used in, for example, your machines without AGP. Uh, and it works very well for a PCI video card. So all the same features and pretty much the same speed as the AGP version. Uh, this one has an extra little sticky here saying what languages are supported, but otherwise it is the same um, as the other box. So let's open this one up. Okay, so we've got slightly different packaging in here. We don't have the uh, same nice manual so I wonder if this one is a slightly older one actually no it's probably probably more an international one maybe the other one was a US based one and this one was for the other markets because it's got all the languages uh, so this is probably actually a later model because they were probably trying to cut some costs towards the end I suspect um, so then we've got a few more of these registration cards this is a warranty registration and again we've got the quick install CD and then we now have the Voodoo 4 PCI let's make sure we get it out of this and there we go so this is a, definitely a very cool card to have And this looks like it's the same BIOS, but the um, 
the PCB looks a little different. And this is a revision A. So again, used, um, but uh, in very nice condition. So let's put this one away and take a quick look at the power color. So the power color is an interesting one. Um, I think in Australia, we were actually quite lucky because we had both the Evil King um, 3, which is the Voodoo 3, and also the Evil King 4, which is this Voodoo 4. Um, I actually purchased one of these back in the day uh, after 3DFX went under for $75. I've still got that card. I actually use that in one of my Pentium 3 machines. Uh, that one's the exact same box as this, except the, the other one does not have uh, TV out, whereas this one does. So let's have a, a look here. So yeah, I've got the uh, AGP version, and also the this one here is the TV out version. Now this card out of the box doesn't support the 1.5 volt um, AGP standard, whereas the retail Voodoo 4 AGP should. There is a resistor mod for this, I believe, that you can you can do, um, but uh, I have not done that. Well, there we go. So I picked this up uh, for fifty-five dollars. So um, I did very well on that one. Um, but that would have been um, there you go, two thousand and thirteen. So quite a few years ago now. So you can see here, this card is quite small. Let's take it out of the wrapping. So this particular one I have not used, um, but I have opened it before. So I did buy a new inbox. Now the thing that I think is pretty funny on it, it actually says Voodoo 5 up here, even though it's not. And then just looking at the RAM, it's uh, 6 nano seconds as well. And it's got a slightly different fan on it. Um, the other version of this that I have works very well. Uh, it's been a great card. And this one, yeah, so this one has your TV out, which is pretty cool. Um, but otherwise quite a sort of generic looking video card. And then what else do we get in the box? We've got a TV out cable. We've got some generic driver CD. Yeah, comes with, a, I assume, a demo or a copy of Test Drive 5. And a copy of Win DVD. And then the manual. Yeah, so I'm not actually sure what that uh, is. That might be an NVIDIA. GeForce FX option. So yeah, I don't think these are that easy to get. I think in Australia we do get a, a shipment of them. Um, oh, here we go. We've got the rundown of the different models. So we've got two with TV out. I don't know what the difference between the A and the non-A is. The configuration is slightly different with the memory. So I don't really know what's uh, going on there. Oh, yeah, and this one's that, another one. I don't know why they released so many. That's strange. Um, and oh, I see. So I remember this uh, this driver was very. Uh, I remember having an SIS card with the same kind of setup driver. So that must have been a, a power color feature, not a um, the vendor specific one. So yeah. So yeah, this card's pretty cool. I think they're hard to get, but yeah, as I said, I think we had a few of them in Australia that um, we, you didn't get in the US necessarily. Um, but yeah, I was quite lucky to get this one for a very good price. So those are my boxed Voodoo 4s. And um, unfortunately, I don't have a Voodoo 5 um, boxed. I've got a couple of Voodoo 5s, but no box, so that would be lovely to get. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick unboxing of some Voodoo 4s. Thanks very much.